All right, you guys, welcome, welcome back. Again, thank y'all so much for coming over, man. You guys are greatly appreciated. Now, we are back with Ron White, uh, Sears Tire Guy. Now, I hope this is the right video because it's only a minute and 42 seconds. So hopefully this is the right one. Because I know sometimes when you it, there's like a full show, it might be bits and stuff might be chopped and whatever. All right, but this is the one you guys requested, so we are here. Again, if this video is small, it's because it got blocked. All right, I know a lot of people do reactions, but somehow, some way, mine end up getting blocked. Don't know why, but that's my disclaimer, and I'm sticking to it. So we ain't gonna waste no more time. Let's jump right into it. I promised Sears I would tell this story on stage every night until the lawsuit settled. Oh. I had my van down in Savannah, Georgia. I didn't like the way the tires were wearing on it. I took the van to Sears Automotive, a trusted name in automotive service. <laughs> Takes them three and a half hours to change four tires. Apparently, they had to whittle one of them out of a piece of wheat. What? I pay them $980 of my hard-earned money. I take a right-hand turn out of the mall. The left rear wheel falls off. It falls off. It falls the fuck off. <laughs> Damn. Turning my van into a tripod, spinning me into a dimension of pissed off I have never been in before in my life. He was a tire guy. Sears, I found out later, had sent him to tire college <laughs> for three days. What the hell, man? Well, apparently he was sick on lug nut day. <laughs> but they still let him work on my van. So I'm suing him, and I hope that next year they have to change the name of Sears Tower in Chicago to Ron White's uh, big old goddamn building. <laughs> hey, that, you know, I can't even imagine getting my tire fixed and then it's, I don't even make it out the damn parking lot. He said it looked like a tripod. <laughs> Just the, oh man, he said put, he said, what'd he say? Spent me in a dimension of pissed off. I'd never, <laughs> I would be so, just think about, think about like, especially if you like had somewhere to go. All I can say is luckily it happened right there versus like him getting on a freeway or something. Cause you know, of course, you know, that happens. They're liable for that. But I'm just talking about like, it could have been like a serious accident. You know what I mean? Shh, dang, man. When did this come out? Well, I mean, this video says 2011. I don't know if that's exactly when, but hopefully this brother got that settled. If this is the true story. That is crazy, man. Uh, like, you would think, and, I, and I'll, be, I'll be talking about like stuff like when I go, even if you go to get fast food, and sometimes like when you, they, they'll ask you like, does your order look correct on the screen? And you're like, yes, everything's there. <laughs> and then you go and you get your food and then you know how you drive up. So you can let the, that's what I do. I drive up so I can let the person behind me go. And then I, I look in the back and I'm like, oh, like either they gave me the wrong fries or they didn't give me fries or just something. And you'd be like, damn, they just asked me, does it look correct? So they know they got the order. <laughs> <laughs> He'd be like, how did they get it wrong? He says, he must have called off on lug nut day. <laughs> the more I think about it, the funnier it gets. 
That is crazy, man. It's like you had you had one job, well, four, I guess. <laughs> but damn, look like a tripod. All right, man. Again, thank you all so much for coming over. Hope you guys enjoyed. Uh, you guys told me to go down this rabbit hole, man. But um, this brother, <laughs> he's I just love his whole demeanor. Uh, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Peace out.